Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm so happy to have you here today. Today, my family is on a mission. And some of us are dividing and conquering because Skylar actually just went to town with a few friends of his. He is going to try to finish his back to school shopping. So we e transferred him a little cash money and hopefully he successfully gets everything that he needs. The rest of us are headed to town together. Right now, Winnie, Curtis, and Cooper are waiting in the Jeep for me. So I'm gonna go hop in there with them. We're gonna head to town. We still have quite a few things left on our list to get. So we need to do that because next weekend is the last weekend before school starts and I do not want to spend it shopping for school supplies. That would be horrible. The last weekend of summer needs to be an all out party, not where are the frigging glue sticks? You know what I'm saying? So come with me. We really do need glue sticks. <laughs> Hopefully we can find everything that we need. Let's have some fun along the way. Okay, the parking lot is crazy here. We're gonna go to Marshall's first. And then you can see we're parked in between. Then we're gonna go to Sport Check over there. The store is nuts. Trying on the first pair. Still eating lunch. <laughs> on to the next store. And honestly, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is like too much. There's barely any oxygen in here, guys. Holy shit. Okay. I don't know if we made the right choice <laughs> to do this today. <sighs> what if somebody give you a nice little hey. slap and make mommy happy? Huh? What? Does that helps? Yeah, that's no. It helps? Sorry. Oh, it Sometimes it does, but not right now. <sighs> that didn't help either? <laughs> no, I think I'm gonna hit the mitts. What if I take my shirt off? <laughs> that might help. a size 13 and that's gonna be the size the store is completely bunch of crazy so we're gonna have to see if they have the other shoe also and we're looking for another pair of shoes for her too so we're gonna have to try to find two non laces size 13 girls sneakers well four really two pairs they're perfect all right, let's try on the Adidas too. Maybe we can get both. You put one on each, and then like that's how you wear it. Rock two different shoes for a pair. I've seen people do that with Crocs. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. yeah. These ones have better grip. Yeah, they're they nice. Be yeah, I wanted these to be Yeah. They look great when styling. I like the purple ones. Don't be hating on my purple ones. Yeah. Just the pink are better. Yeah, they are better for her, for sure. Ooh. See the perfect. Spin? I saw the this spin. One is That's cool. This one is cool. All right. Done. Let's go. I don't know. We're looking for colored index cards. They only have the white ones, so we'll have to look somewhere else. I think every single family has the same idea that they want to get the school supply shopping done now and not the last weekend before school. I, th I was thinking we would get it all done today, but like, I can't with that many people in the store. That's crazy. I'm glad we got sneakers for her because last year 
we had a hard time finding ones in her size because they sell out. So that's done at least. Do you want to keep doing that, Cooper, for the vlog? He was pumping up some iron. They say pencil grips. <laughs> What's pencil grips? I don't know. Maybe. We'll have to buy them and try them at home. Sure. They're little tiny. They're cute. Hey, Winnie. I am a gummy bear. I remember that I saw these on Omni and Elsie, but they were erasers. Oh, all right. Well, let's bring them home. We'll figure out what they do. Sounds good. No. Nope. These are cold. Are they? I like <laughs> You like that? Yeah, I love cold. I don't like cold. Wait. <laughs> I don't know that any of these are going to beat last year's backpack. You had the coolest book bag all year. These are cool. Ooh, look at all the straps on them. These, like, No. We're still looking for a zip-up hoodie for this queen. Because she won't wear a pullover to school in case she gets trapped. Oh, you'll wear that to school? That won't keep you warm, babe. Oh, yeah, it will. Just checking yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna head into another sportswear store. Still looking for backpacks and basketball sneakers for Coop. This just spent a couple minutes in there and you'll never guess where we're going. <laughs> we're going back to Marshall's <laughs> and sport check back that way. To make our final decision. Yeah. We just weren't sure. Now we think we might be sure. Actually, maybe we should go check DSW. They no. might have book bags. No. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> Well, pin a rose on my nose. Babe, they have sneakers and book bags. I don't even know this store. I just don't want to go to any more stores. <laughs> we did not find any good success at DSW. I felt like there were plenty of options, but my children are picky eaters and also picky with their brands and clothing and everything. So now we are walking across the parking lot and going to Under Armour. And this is only a store that we've been to a few times. It's actually pretty new here. So hopefully we can find some good success, great success. I love that. I'm getting this one. Are you actually? No, oh. <laughs> it's so cool. I love the white. The white's epic. That's super cool. Look at me. Winnie likes this transparent backpack. I think it's pretty cool. Pretty 90s. You like that one too? Yep. We think we might be sold on this nice white one for Coop. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I need medium. Do you need medium or small? Medium. Yeah. Yeah. We are back home. Skylar beat us home, and he actually got the most stuff, I would say. I think so, anyways. He's gonna show you what he got. Um, got Nike pants from Sports Check. 
Love. Extra large. Um, I got a Nike sweater. A zip up? You don't have a Nike zip up, do you? No. So perfect. Um, from Sports Check. Medium. This is the best one, guys. Um, Nike shirt. Wait for the back. <laughs> from Sports Check. It's so retro. It's so 90s. And that is, I literally want that shirt. That's a medium. I wonder if they have something like it in the women's section, similar. I got that from Frenchies. You went thrifting as well. And it is a... Is that a men's large? Large. Yeah. I got these. Oh, those are Old Navy too. Yeah, they're medium. Nice. Yep. Pajama pants, which he also sometimes wears to school. Yep, I will. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. Good shopping. Yep. Nicely done every time but also he just ordered um basketball sneakers online which i think is what cooper's going to do too because the basketball sneaker choices are not good around here anymore we lost our foot locker store they went out of business unfortunately that was like the only place my boys would buy their basketball sneakers from because they just had the best ones and yes you spend way too much money on basketball sneakers but i see it as a mom whose kids played hockey for such a long time. My boys played hockey until almost middle school and hockey's flipping expensive. Like if you know, you know, okay? So spending a couple hundred dollars on a pair of shoes is not that big of a deal compared to if they played hockey, <laughs> it would be thousands. <laughs> Here's Cooper. This yeah, is what bag. he got. Freaking nice book bag, eh? Were you surprised that they had that many there? I was. Really nice. <laughs> $65, but I think it was, there was like 25% or something like that. The Jays game is on. <laughs> um, yeah, there was some kind of percentage off, so. I got uh, baseball cards. Oh, he actually got those for a really good deal, too. $25. For a box. Cooper said they had these ones. Oh, there's autographs? You can get some. Get um, autograph. Cooper <clears throat> said that they had... Oh, this is 2022, too. Yep. You said they had them at Walmart, but it was way more than that. 40 For 40 yeah. That's way more. They got this shirt. Mm, 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 mm. Love it. Yep. Amazing. Good yep. shopping. Every time. <laughs> For Winnie um, at Winners, actually at Winners, I ran into one of my friends, Tracy, and we talked for a really long time. Actually, Curtis was already out in the Jeep, and then he texted me a bunch of times. I could feel my phone in my back pocket vibrating, but it was fine. Um, but he came back in to make sure I was okay, because <laughs> we did talk for a while. Um, but it was really nice to run into a friend, and honestly, my anxiety was so bad today. Like the shakes, like almost debilitating. That's why I didn't take very many clips. And if, if the camera was shaky while we were in town, it's because I, I was really struggling, really, really struggling. Um, but standing there talking to her truly made me like come back down and I don't know, center myself or something. I don't know, Tracy, what are you, like magic or something? <laughs> I don't know. I love her and I appreciate my friends so much. And our daughters are going to be matching because she bought this for her daughter too. Her daughter's name is Naomi and she's a little bit younger than Winnie, but she's about the same height, I think. Um, actually, she might be even taller than Winnie now. Winnie's such a young she's so small for her age like when you look at Winnie in her class she is usually the smallest person in the entire grade um she's just really little she is really strong she's not like super skinny like she's like very strong she's thick um but like her feet are small like her hands are small like she's just She's my little baby. And really, she was only like a week away from being pushed back a grade because her birthday is December 23rd. September 23rd. Curtis's is September 22nd. And we celebrate Jesus's on the 25th. 
so it's a busy month, you know. Um, but Tracy had this, and I'm getting it for Winnie. It was a two-pack right here. Um, Winnie really needed a zip-up hoodie. We've looked all over the place for a zip-up hoodie. We finally have one, and this material is amazing. It is pure butter. Um, this is by Miu Miu Coco. Um, really, it was a great deal because, did I just cut the tag off? We had to take this off this because they were attached together, but I wanted Winnie to try it on in the store. I think it was $19 for that sweater and the shirt together. So really, like $10 each. And this is so pretty. Like, honestly, I love this color right now. I am flirting with making a purchase at the Roots website and they have a Roots sweater, like a crew neck sweater with this color. And I am flirting with it. Like we're, we're getting close to a real relationship. Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm pretty sure, I don't know where the tag went for that, but I'm pretty sure it was $19.99. And then also from winners, Curtis didn't agree with this purchase, but um, that's okay. Winnie really, really wanted it. And she's actually wanted a poppet purse for a really long time. Like, it's kind of satisfying, guys. I know. I buy her a lot of fidgets. I know. But if you watched one of the last vlogs that I posted, um, the one where... It was like, those summer nights. Um, that's what the title was on the video. Um, but it was when we went to Valley Village, we watched Cooper's baseball game, all of that. The energy that Winnie had that entire evening was, I couldn't keep up. Like, I just, I, I don't like to lose my patience with my kids because I... <sighs> I don't know, when a mom loses her patience, it's not pretty. And I hate, hate it when I lose my patience because I never want to be that kind of mom. So I try so bad, I try so hard to keep everybody like cool and calm and collected. I'm a lover, not a fighter, which are being really irritating right now. <laughs> like Curtis wasn't there when he didn't want to be at the baseball game. And she just would not stop talking and complaining and whining and talking, complaining and whining and asking me to do this, 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 this. Like it just, I said in the video, I don't need to elaborate. So I really don't. Like if you're a mom, you likely know exactly what I'm talking about. And I was stretching my patience like wafer thin. Okay. I was, I was like, when I saw Curtis roll up in his motorbike to watch the end of the game with us. You have no idea like the sigh of relief that I could take because he hasn't seen her all day. He didn't see her the whole day before and he's not going to see her all day tomorrow because he's working. He's on days and he was working extra. And so I was like, yes, for the next hour, she is yours. You're welcome. <laughs> She's normally so, so good, but sometimes she just gets so energized and it's just like dude i'm not like normally we're meeting like her energy meets my energy but like i just i was not there <laughs> it, it was exhausting but this is part of the reason why fidgets are a thing because it really does help children that have no chill and i need chill i really do so honestly buying this it was only 14.99 it's a rainbow heart poppet purse. I mean, it's, I don't need to explain why we bought it. She said she really wanted it. She wore it around the store. She didn't want to put it back. And then I just said, yeah, we can get it. It's, it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Maybe she'll bring it to school. Okay. Then it counts as back to school stuff. Um, we also went to the Dollarama. We only got a few things from the Dollarama. Guys, I'm not done. I'm not done shopping for back to school. I was done for today, okay? I took some meds in town. I, my eating disorder is like, dude, go get a box of donuts. That fix it, it uh, story, it was stuttering. 
<laughs> get a box of donuts because it will fix everything. But, and I asked God to do this to me because this is what I needed. I need to hear the voice of reason, the truth, while I'm feeling the eating disorder thoughts of, holy crap, you need to order pizza and get donuts and go to the liquor store and get a bunch of your favorite coolers and make it a night and have super fun. You'll be great. You'll be so much better. But that is when I need a gentle reminder that, yeah, you can do all of that. When you wake up tomorrow morning, how is that going to make you feel? I've lived so many years waking up in the morning and being so mad at myself and waking up and saying, okay, today it's all gonna change. It's all gonna change today. You're gonna do better today. And then I do it again and I wake up the next morning and it's, 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 it's a cycle of self-hate and I don't want that. I don't want that. I want the confident, strong, smart, and beautiful woman. I want her to be the captain of my ship, not the insecure, addicted to food, addicted to sugar, um, cries at the drop of a hat, wears her emotions on her sleeve and lets people walk all over her. I don't want her steering my ship. I don't want, wherever she's going, I don't really even want to be on the same ship with her. So I want the rational Miranda making decisions for me. So I came home. We did not bring food home. This is like not even that kind of video right now. I just wanted to share like what, like I had a really bad anxiety day, like really bad. And I'm like someone who, I wanna make someone feel better right away. Like I'm, like for instance, my friend's hurting. Um, I'm going over there and bring her favorite food and buying her flowers and coming right over. I'm gonna take care of your kids. You need to go take a bath, whatever. That's the way I operate and I operate, operate. <laughs> I, I use that on myself too. I just didn't know that I did, but if I feel shitty, then making my night easier by eating out, getting treats, making nachos, all of these things, um, they do make me feel better in the moment. But it doesn't last. What ends up happening is I feel worse <laughs> after. And there are other ways that I can make myself calm down and make myself happy and sometimes you just have to feel the shit, you know? Sometimes you just have to allow the feelings to get you and then move on from them, you know? Go through them, not just like put a pizza slice on top of it, you know? I don't know, this is just what's happening now. So we came home, literally actually, I almost stopped at a donut shop. I literally Googled it on my phone. That's how close I was to going and buying a bunch of donuts. The donut shop was closed. And I was like, okay, good. <laughs> Honestly, we came home. Um, I had breakfast really, really late today. So I kind of skipped lunch, which is never a good, like my eating disorder is already winning if I skipped a meal. But the reason that I did is because I literally had lunch at 1130 or breakfast at 1130 and then we went to town. So everybody else was having lunch and I like to have my thyroid medication first, have let that sit in me for a little bit. Then I have some coffee then I have my other medications and then I have like I just have a routine. OK, um, but when we came back home, I listen to rational Miranda. I got out some peanuts and I ate some peanuts like in the shell. So it took me time because I had to take them out of the shell and everything, which is kind of fun. I don't know why I find that fun, but it is. Um, and I had an apple and it's from New Zealand. Actually, if you watched one of my last Costco hauls, then you already know they're delicious and very juicy. And that's what I had. That's what I had right away. Um, and now I'm going to make supper here in a minute when I'm done this. But you guys are so supportive and I want to tell you 
what's going on because like I don't want it to look like oh wow she, it's so easy for her like there's no way I can do that because everything's so much harder for me but she makes it look so easy it's not easy it's like the hardest thing I've ever done because the way that I make myself feel good essentially is the worst thing for me and it could put me in a grave before I want to be so it's hard because the way that I've dealt with my problems isn't available to me anymore. So I'm trying to relearn how to feel. And it's really hard when you've pushed that away for so many years. So it's not easy. And if I make it look easy, that's just cause I'm sexy baby. <laughs> so yeah, because the stores were absolutely literally a madhouse like every store we went into was crazy every store um and unfortunately the very first store we went into was the worst one of them all um which was not the best way to start the shopping trip um thank goodness we didn't have to go back i thought we were still gonna have to go back to marshall's and sports check but luckily the under armor store came through um, and Cooper is going to order his basketball sneakers online as well. I think Skylar just did that with Curtis. So anyways, at the Dollarama, we got some rulers. We actually had a ruler in our basket the last time we went to Dollarama. I don't know what happened to it. If it fell out on the floor um, in the dollar store or somewhere along the way, or if we left it in the cart, I honestly don't know, but it did not come home in that bag. So we got a ruler again. There are a couple things we didn't get, but I'm gonna worry about that during the week. I am not ever shopping for school supplies on weekends ever again. Please, please no. No, like future Miranda, don't, don't do it girl. It's not worth it. Um, anyways, I got some glue sticks from the Dollarama. I thought we got something else from there. I honestly don't friggin' know. I know we did. I knew there was one more thing, the gummy bears. Um, I think they're just to like go on your pencil. I'm not sure, because Winnie actually does use pencil grips because her fingers, man, you guys, it's so annoying when that kid holds a pencil. She doesn't do it right. She does it the way that's comfortable for her. And for the longest time, I was just like, I don't care that she holds her pencil like that. Like she's, writing really well it's totally fine it comes out clean and neat but then last year she was in grade two and they were like no you can't it doesn't matter like she has to learn to hold her pencil the right way so for me i was just like i don't give a shit like she can write her name she can write down everything she just holds her pencil funny but i guess it's a no-no I don't know. So we bought Winnie a bunch of these pencil grips. She tried a bunch at school and then the teacher told us to buy her these ones. So we got a bunch. I just ordered her a bunch more. There's a freaking dog here on one of these ones. They're kind of sticky, but they help her to hold her pencil like this. That's how I hold mine. I don't know. I just, I wasn't concerned. She's doing all her work. Oh well. So she's gonna have those pencil grips. I wish that these were pencil grips like that, because they're $1.25 for six. These are not that price. <laughs> they're really not. Um, if you want like the cute color ones, it's, I mean, it's not like $100 or anything. I think it's like $34.99 for a pack of neon ones um, on Amazon, which I think that's what we bought. I'm not sure because I send links to Curtis and I don't even know if he's, bought the things yet or if he bought bought something different and found it for a better price you know what I mean he does that anyways I'm gonna let Winnie show you her sneakers because she loves them hey guys I got two pairs of sneakers I think these ones are gonna be for basketball and sorry and these ones are gonna be for school. For your indoor shoes? Yeah. Yeah. I love the bottom color on these. Reminds me of the beach. Love it. And we tried them on the store. They fit so good. I like the inside color. 
She's finally a size 13. That means she's one size away from being a size number one in kids' shoes. So exciting. I love them. They're perfect, purple and pink. Da -da! And they actually had her size. And so many places are sold out of her size. So I'm so glad that we could get her some. That was my biggest worry, actually, was her size. I'm sneakers. hungry. What All are you right. gonna make us? Let's make some supper what? right now. They're about to find out. Yeah. Hello. He won. Winnie ate all of her cucumbers and she's on her second helping of rice. She loves this kind of rice, huh? That's the best one. Mm hmm. You may have been able to guess what mommy is having. Dill pickle salad. I have some turkey sausage in there with it. And also some chicken, some hot peppers, cucumbers, carrots. Delicious, of course, extra pickles, cause you gotta. This is my fave, I love it. Well friends, here we are. It is 10 o'clock. And as you can tell, my hair has grown a bit. <laughs> That is because my hair is allergic to the humidity and it just always wants to be naturally wavy no matter what I try to do. Winnie heard me ending the vlog and wanted to come no, out. I for that oh, you, oh, you were spying. I like it. I heard somebody slam the door. Oh, yeah, that was me. And there's tweezer bugs up here. There is tweezer bugs out here. Um, there. So Jasper and I went for a nice, cool evening walk. We had a blast. Winnie, what did you do with Sky and Coop while I was gone? Um, Coop and me played hockey. And oh, on the Wii or on the Wii U or the Switch? <laughs> and none of those. Oh, the Wii, Just, I think. Oh, okay. I Regular Wii. Wii? Uh, and Sky and me played Wii Sports. Ooh. We didn't play Wipeout because he just asked if I wanted to play Wii Sports. Oh, okay. Because, did you have fun? And I said yes. Yeah. And then I got back from uh, my walk. <gasps> And we filmed a TikTok Don't for Skylar's TikTok when account. It was super and it dark. was very funny. Super dark. We did it outside. Wait, so, can I tell them what everybody was Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. Mommy went first and she was running with an iron. Iron, yep. I ran and with an iron. Then I... And then Winnie was next. And what were you running with? I sco my squash model. I don't want to sit because the Oh, the over. tweezer bug's okay. on the wall over here. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. I had a squ my Squishmallow fishy from Costco mm -hmm. that it was rainbow, and I had a glow stick necklace. A glow stick necklace and a glow stick bracelet, and uh, my new poppet purse that we bought mm -hmm. at what store? Winners. Winners. And uh, what was Cooper running with? Uh, he was running with. Uh, vacuum, new <laughs> my one. new vacuum, which I love, and also, by the way, I got a new dishwasher. And Skylar was running with my chair, the one that I always use when we eat. the kitchen table chair. Yeah, I so it was this I like new this. TikTok trend, which I haven't heard of it, but I'm sure now that I said I haven't heard of it, I'll probably see it the next time I am on TikTok. But it's it's like um, the burning ring of fire song like the dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and and you just run carrying okay. random things in the dark tick tock oh, wait. I should actually... <laughs> it's a strange we, place we should do that on your channel one time but with curtis now we should bring jasper out to run Ooh. and he should be we should like put something on his back and he should be running and then there could be one more person and it could be bob and jerry no, actually, <laughs> uh, the car. Somebody could Bill. Be no, somebody could be driving the car and putting something on top of it, and then you speed, and then I mean, you. Do you guys hear fast, this future content then, creator right and here? And then the thing falls off, and they're like, dun, 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 dun. and the car. Anyways, running. guys, I just wanted to pop and, on and, to say my anxiety has gone down significantly, and, whole and I had a great night. Wait. So we did get some stuff accomplished today. I don't feel bad about it. Um, I'm just never going to wait this long. I feel like I've said this before. Back to school shopping is 
my least favorite thing. Did I see those bubbles? I would actually rather go try on bras and bathing suits <laughs> and jeans than back to school shop in the madhouse that I love back today to was. Shopping. No, I know. I, I like it too when there's not a million people everywhere. There's but a bubble on it. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed and I might bubbles. watch like a Stranger Things episode before I go to bed. And then I'll have some weird dreams and I'm in the upside down filming a TikTok. <laughs> I love you guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye, Bye. guys.